What's going on everybody? Welcome to Lingo Reacts. Coop on the quarantine dial and S here as always. And we have another pitch meeting, ladies and gentlemen. You already know what it is. We do these pitch meetings on a regular basis. Uh, on this a regular? Is regular basis? This is, this is Pirates of the Caribbean. I, I'm sure you guys have watched it. Uh, I don't think I've watched the late ones, you know, like the last couple. But I've watched the mm -hmm. most most of them. I've seen the ones with Johnny yeah. Depp, essentially. You know what I mean? There's like eight of them. Is it, dude, all of them have Johnny Depp. Okay, then, then I've seen like the first two <laughs> or three or something like that. Yeah. Anyways, anyways, as always, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button, do the thing you guys always do. Coop, are you excited? Pirates of the Caribbean yeah. pitch meeting. All right, sounds good. Let's do it then. So, we're just going to mention him getting canceled. Sir. I, I was about to say that as well, but he's not canceled anymore. They've canceled Amber Heard, sir. Yeah, I'm sure you remember that. No, they haven't. The, well, they're trying. They'll tr no, but but the thing is, he is getting... There's like a redemption campaign going on for Johnny Depp right now. It's, it's, it's yeah, there's a redemption campaign, but it's all fans. But in actuality, Amber Heard's the only one that still has all of her jobs, and Johnny Depp got fired. Yeah, I, I do think Amber Heard is... Right. Uh, like, Amber Heard got kicked off Aquaman 2. Like, they're, gonna be, they're not going to be doing No, they did it. She did it. No, I'm pretty sure she did. Yeah, she did it a couple of no. weeks ago. Yeah. I'm pretty sure she did it. I think she did. No, I don't think so. Because yeah. I, I just read the other day that she she had a petition with 2 million signatures and she didn't get kicked off. Wow. On it. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. I swear I saw it somewhere. Anyways, anyways, what, if we're right or wrong, let us know in the comments. I don't even know. I think I saw that somewhere, but I, I might be wrong. Anyways, mm -hmm. Pirates of the Caribbean pitch meeting. Let's see if they talk about Johnny Depp. Right, dude. It's a very exciting idea. Oh boy. Yeah, I thought we could base a movie on one of those slow moving boat ride attractions at Disney World. Huh. Okay, that doesn't sound super exciting. No, it's gonna be though. We could get one of the main actors to pretty much do a Keith Richards impression, a lot of mumbling. Okay, so like a guitarist in his late 50s going about two miles an hour just kind of looking at stuff. No, the Disney ride's just a jumping off point. We're gonna build an adventure movie around that. So what ride are we talking about here? Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, Pirates of the Caribbean. What of those pronunciations, sure. Sure. So we're gonna meet this little girl, Elizabeth Swan, right? And she's helping out this kid, Will Turner, who they found in this big shipwreck caused by pirates. Oh boy. And she sees this pirate medallion of his and she keeps it. Okay. So years later, this guy Norrington wants to marry Elizabeth and he knows her very well. How? Because he's known her since she was a small child. Oh my God. But Elizabeth has a crush on Will and he has a crush on her. And what's his deal now? Well, he's a blacksmith now and he's always walking around saying stuff like, Elizabeth. Gotcha. So then Elizabeth falls into the ocean because her corset was too tight and that medallion sends this magical pulse out into the ocean. Oh, it does. Yeah, and turns out it called to these cursed pirates on this ship called the Black Pearl. Wow, wow, wow. wow. So then Elizabeth is saved by this wacky pirate guy named Jack Sparrow who showed up in Port Royal earlier. Keith Richards. Keith Richards. And even though he saved her life, everybody wants to kill him because he's a pirate. Very rude. And so he goes on this crazy daring escape where I disregard physics and probabilities and all that boring crap for a bit. You gotta disregard that stuff sometimes. It is <laughs> no, more fun pause it for a second. Just... Yeah. You know, I just find it funny that we take movies like this not that seriously and like you see how like there's so much dumb shit in this. yeah like, yeah with the medallion and all this stuff but like it's come to a point where we have so many superhero movies and everything where we are so critical we take like, it so seriously yeah, yeah yeah like yeah, all true. like justice league and everything and all that and i'm like bro like it's a comic book movie it's a comic book but like yeah yeah literally, like the explanations for that and i like, actually think that's really interesting so hard that's a really right? cool that's a concept that's a cool concept you brought up right there to be honest with yeah. you yeah 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 Damn, that's crazy. We've evolved past the moment. Like, I feel like maybe even at the beginning, you'd, you mm -hmm. could argue, like, mafia movies were, like, we were just having fun with it. And then it became this whole thing where mafia movies are being dissected through and throughout. Yeah. You know? Yeah, I could see it. It probably happens with every genre, honestly. But, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Escaping, he's gonna encounter Will Turner. Oh, yeah? Yeah, and Jack's gonna go to leave, but Will's gonna throw a sword into the door and lock him in the workshop with him. Why? To kill him, because he freaking hates pirates. He doesn't know that he kind of is one. Why didn't he throw his sword at Jack then? Well, that'd be pretty messed up. You can't get somebody when their back is turned, I guess. Well, then they have this big sword fight that ends with Jack getting knocked unconscious by Will's boss. Oh, instantly unconscious. That's definitely some brain damage, right? No, it's that wacky kind of head trauma where your eyes cross and you get up a bit later completely fine. Oh, that's the best kind of head trauma. <laughs> 
Right. <laughs> so Jack gets put in a jail cell, and while he's in there, the evil pirates show up, and they just go nuts around town. Whoa. Gets and Will throws an axe at one of them, gets him right in the back. And if he throws an axe at this guy's back, why didn't he throw that sword at Jack? Well, this other pirate's not a main character, so. Uh, so then these pirates try to grab Elizabeth, and she puts up a fight by dropping some hot coals on them, but they manage to get her eventually. Oh, hot coals are hot. They sure are, sir. Then Will's gonna get some wacky head trauma, too, and some pirates are gonna recognize Jack. Oh, how do they know him? Well, turns out he used to be captain of the Black Pearl till there was a mutiny led by this guy Barbosa. Okay, okay. And then Jack's gonna see that when they're hit by moonlight, they turn to skeletons. Oh, now those are spooky. They sure are, sir. Yeah, so I guess Elizabeth and everybody else around town see some skeletons, too. No, Jack's the only one in town that sees this. But how, if there's moonlight... Well, it's a cloudy night. I guess, you know, the moonlight was just hitting this one specific spot in the jail cell and nowhere else. <laughs> oh, cyber are tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is the deal with this curse anyway? That's not a stand-up bit. I do, I do want to know. Well, see, they stole some Aztec gold belonging to this guy Cortez, and this stuff was cursed by the heathen gods. Oh, cursed how? Well, now they can't die or taste or feel, and when there's moonlight, they turn to skeletons. Oh, as I said earlier, those are spooky, but how'd that pirate earlier get burned by the coals if they can't feel things? I don't know. Fair enough. So anyway, <laughs> with the curse, they need to return the final medallion with the blood of the person who stole it. And who stole this last coin medallion thing? Will's father bootstrapped Bill, but they tossed him in the ocean. Very rude. So now they want Will's blood? Exactly. But see, when they kidnap Elizabeth onto their ship, she's like, my name is Elizabeth Turner. So they're like, oh, this is, this is Bootstrap Bill's son. What? So then Barbosa has this nice dinner for Elizabeth, and she is just starving. I thought they couldn't eat. Why do they have fresh food lying around their ship? I wonder. <laughs> so then Barbosa's gonna explain the whole curse to Elizabeth, and this whole crew's gonna do this little choreography that they clearly put a lot of work into. Good to have hobbies. And so back at Port Royal, Bill's gonna help Jack escape so they can go save Elizabeth. Gonna be hard for them to get out of there without a ship. Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, they trick the entire crew of this one ship to go onto another ship, and then they just sneak onto theirs and take it. The entire crew of the ship got onto another ship. Every single crew member, sir. I feel like that doesn't make sense. Well, that may be, but it's gonna drive the story forward. Well, okay then. So eventually the pirates are gonna try to lift the curse using Elizabeth's blood, but she's gonna be like, I lied about my name, you dummies. Right, okay, they just wanna be mortal again, though, right? Yeah, those dummies. So then what happens? Well, then there's gonna be this big ship battle, and Will is gonna strike a deal with the pirates. And what's the deal? Well, he gets them to set Elizabeth and Jack free, but Barbosa's sneaky, so he just maroons them on an island. A very sneaky pirate. Yeah, but then Elizabeth sets a bunch of rum on fire, and they get rescued by her father and that guy who wants to marry her. Gross. So then Jack stops Barbosa from killing Will, right? Right. And he, like, playfully picks up some coins and tosses them back in the chest, but secretly keeps one, so he's cursed now. He can't die. Technically, wouldn't he be cursed no matter what, since he didn't return those other coins with his blood? Technically, yeah, but nobody notices that. Oh, okay, great. So then he has this big sword fight with Barbosa, and he does this fun skeleton reveal, and then he shoots him just as Will drops the final medallion into the chest. Wow, 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 wow. Yeah, and so that's the end of the curse, but people still want to hang Jack, because he's still a pirate. Yeah, I guess he is. But then freaking Will bursts in to save them. He throws a sword just beneath his feet, so he does this balancing thing. Why didn't he throw the sword at the rope itself? I don't know. Yeah, this guy doesn't really get much thought into where he throws weapons. <laughs> huh? I guess not. So then Will and Elizabeth help Jack escape. Amazing. And so Jack gets a ship and a crew. There's a cowboy there. It's a great time. What? And so, yeah, that's about it. What do you think? Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. We're gonna have to get somebody really, really good to play Jack Sparrow, though. Definitely, sir. Someone that's gonna be synonymous with the franchise. Somebody we wouldn't think of replacing. <laughs> Margot Robbie teases her Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, that's funny. That's so, I didn't even know that was a thing. That's crazy. Um, I I like the first couple of Pirates of the Caribbean, but they kind of I did too. They they They're, okay. Yeah. They truly are stupid, but like if yeah. you go in with it thinking it's like I'll say this. Know, it's actually thing. very like, similar in terms of like stupidity as the Fast and Furious franchise. First couple really good. You know, it gets yeah. better, gets better. Then it gets to the point of no return. Then you're like, okay, what the hell is going on? You know? Yeah. But, then you're like, yo, why, why are you guys fighting super yeah. engineered guys and you're just like exactly. a yeah. driver? Yeah. I guarantee you they're <laughs> going to space next. I guarantee you they're going to space next. Anyways. Yo, what's up? Thanks for watching our video. And if you haven't already, like, comment, and subscribe and watch our other videos. Pick them. Pick them right there.